Hi guys, me and my one one here now here for my Pokemon Crystal Toad that only one part of nine and as we begin my egg that I've been carrying around for a while is just hatching into a Togepi. It, it's supposed to normally hatch during the I Alex Forest, but since I was uh training and training around so much and you know walking in the grass for a long time I probably just hatched earlier. So yeah, I'm gonna give it a nickname and during this process I'm gonna probably hit a few misclicks. But yeah I'll I'll reveal the name in due time, but it usually takes me a long time to I think of names for some reason, but yeah just if anybody knows or can guess it or just pause the video now and see what the name is. Anyway, I probably get get that most people probably know what it is by now, but still fun. So I'm naming it Toe Kiss and yeah, I'm trying to follow the style of naming up Pokemon fourth generation names and all that stuff. And technically you can't get it in this game, but still nice if there is somehow to get it to the fourth generation, but yeah, I'm probably not going to use this. This probably, either going to just have it around, just have it around for like a uh, death father and stuff like that. And yeah, or I'll just put it in like a, computer, a PC or something. But yeah, here I'm just going to buy a few repels and be on my way to the Alex Forest. Uh, yeah, so he says that, well, that in my opinion, Alex Forrest is not that big and, and that confusing. My opinion, and in my opinion, Vir Viridian Forest uh, is more like, confusing than that. And here, the, I decided not to cut this part out because I'm going to try to catch this Paris. Or... or yeah. Well, I was gonna catch it, but yeah, didn't feel like it. Yeah, I'm here trying to like forgot to use my repel, but yeah, I'm just I did I didn't cut that out. Just sometimes I just don't cut stuff out. I mean, the t only times when I'm gonna cut stuff out now is when we see that Pokemon like way too much, like. Yeah, this part is the part where this guy, he says he lost his uh, Farfetch'd and needs me to get it back and he can't do it alone. So this is the Farfetch'd right here and basically this is going to be like a wild goose chase. You know, I see a Pokeball down there so I'm going to go down there soon. And basically what you have to do is just... Like go near it and click on it, like from the best place possible. Most preferably behind it, or I'm not really sure. It's kind of hard to explain. But yeah, now I'm just chasing it back to where we just started. And right here, I make it like a really big mistake. Instead of talking it to it, like from behind it, I kind of talk to it from like in front of it so I have to do it like all over again and my repel just wore off anyways I'm gonna put on another repel and yeah that problem solved right now anyways I'm gonna try to get this pokeball and then to revive which is the first one in the whole game and can be really useful we shouldn't be wasted because they're like 15 1500 pokey dollars yeah it's too bad that they actually don't sell full revives in stores. Or, or that'd be better. I mean in marts, but yeah. So now I'm just gonna chase it back to its owner and then it, and it just like, I guess, flew and crashed in a tree or something. I'm not sure, but. Yeah, this guy this guy has Farfetch and he thanks us and talks about cut and gives us HM01, which is cut. I think I said that earlier, but yeah, he says we need the gym badge from Azalea, which we already have to use it. 
So this guy talks about how his Pokemon won't obey him because he doesn't have a badge and yeah, it's true in a lot of cases. Right now I'm looking to see if any of my Pokemon can learn Cut, which I probably doubt it. Well, actually Napoleon can, but I don't feel like giving it to him. And I'm just going to walk around for a while until I see like any Pokemon, basically I think any po really any Pokemon you encounter here can learn Cut. And I just realized that my repel wore off. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot to actually put it on in the first place. But this is a Paris, which I didn't catch earlier. But I'm just gonna catch now. Better late than never. So I'm pretty sure it can use Cut. I'm not sure because I've never used it before, but I'm pretty sure it can. I'm gonna use Water Gun, and I'm afraid I'm gonna KO because I'm like 20 lows higher and it survives, but just one HP. And it got a critical hit on me, and it only did 1 HP, which was pretty funny. Yeah, I'm going to try to catch it now. Because if I don't catch it now, I probably won't have a chance to catch anything else later. Yeah, I hope I catch it now, and this happens. It was so close, too. <laughs> Whatever. I was planning on using my Great Ball, but... Yeah, right, I'd just rather use the Pokeball. Anyways, I don't really think I've ever used any other of the Pokeballs in this game except for Pokeballs. So I have no idea what like all the other Pokeballs look like, like the lore balls and all the ones you get from Epicorns. So yeah, you can read that stuff about it, it's description if you really want to. So I'm just gonna give it a nickname. It has nothing to do with Pokemon related, but yeah, I'm just gonna give it a name. This name is like a, ho a homonym, uh, I'm not sure what it is, but like homonym, like name that sounds really alike to this. Uh, yeah, it's going to be called... I think, um, yeah, I was trying to look for the eye, but I couldn't find it, and it's going to be called Paris, which, like I said, it's a homonym for it, or a homophone, I forgot, but yeah, blew my skills, but yeah, it's, it's one of those, but... It's, it's the meaning of the word means it just sounds like to it like here and here Like you can hear me or I'm right here That's an example of it, but not enough of grammar skills. I'm just gonna I just type cut and if you're, wondering, if you're wondering the nickname if it, if it was a male I would have called it Perez, but Anyways, enough of that just gonna use cut now and get past that and Right here you see this shrine it's to, it's to honor the protector, which is a spoiler legendary Pokemon, which I have no idea how you get it. As of now, I don't know how. I think you can get it with a mystery gift or some type of cheat, but I don't think it's possible on here to do it, like for me to do it. Anyway, these are all headbutt trees. And right here I get a X attack, which is pretty useless, I guess. The only thing I can do with it is just sell it for like something, not really much. Anyways, I see the guy over there. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna go to see what he's doing. I'm trying to look for hidden items because there's a potential for hidden items around here, maybe. But yeah, I don't really have an item to detect those yet. Anyways, right here you found you. I can. I found an antidote, which can be somewhat useful, especially if someone if a Pokemon like has. Uh, poison powder, I think it is. Yes, yeah, some more repel war off again, which I'm not gonna put it on. And hopefully, I don't run out of repels because I only have two left. I think I'm gonna be fine. Anyway, he's gonna talk to this guy, and he says he's shaking the trees using a headbutt, and he says it's fun. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty surprised he didn't uh, get a concussion from doing that. Yeah, but we wouldn't wish that to happen, would we? Anyways, it's time to go on. I might teach you, but not at this moment. So I found an Ether, which is an item that can restore your Pokemon's power points. Like, if you have, like, none. It's, like, one of the ways to, like, prevent your Pokemon from using the move Struggle, which... Like, I don't know if I said this any time before. If you have struggle, you're gonna have to, you can still attack, but you lose HP with each attack. It's yeah, it's kind of yeah. That's all, but 
So yeah, there's there's only one bug catch in here. I'm just gonna fight him. I mean, I got a critical there, which I didn't know if it really mattered or not. Probably not, because I'm just so high leveled. Now he has per Paris. Yeah, I didn't really mean to click on that, because now I have multiple Pokemon, and so I was going to ask me if you want to switch out or not. Anyways, I used Bike to want to KO it, and yeah, that's it. No more trainers than this. So, overall, this force is pretty boring. As compared to the first, uh, as compared to the first gen and the uh, third, well, I like the third gen. Well, that's, well, this one is really the boringest one of every forced. But yeah, she's gonna give us a uh, TM, which I think is a track, but later I find out it's sweet sense. And yeah, basically, I'm just gonna just talk to that other girl right there. She's gonna talk about more about protector of the forest and the shrine and stuff and really that's all and my repel wore off again and yeah that's really all for this video and yeah it's me Nature my 101 and I'll see you guys later and bye